I'm looking forward to the conclusion of Mafia and the review, more PSVR and my impressions, more WWE, whatever multiplayer I play on Thursday, and Battlefield 1 this week. I hope you'll join me daily for the live streams, which have been really great. Great attendance. Thank you for that. So here is the schedule. Here it comes. All right, here we go. Tomorrow, Monday, October 17th, my gameplay stream will be the conclusion of Mafia 3. Monday night, I'm beginning work on the review for Mafia 3. I'm not promising you that it'll be released. Tuesday will be the return of WWE 2K17. Tuesday night, at the least, I hope to... Well, at the least, I will be releasing my review of Mafia 3 Tuesday night, all right? Now... If I already finished it and released it Monday, or maybe I don't have a lot of work to do and I release it early, I'm going to begin work on my PlayStation VR impressions video for KO Gaming. Wednesday, I actually want to return to the PlayStation VR. Now, there's a few things I, I still want to do. I want to go further with the PlayStation VR Worlds game, because so far all I've done is the Undersea Deep Ocean Shark Encounter, which I actually really like. And I did the London Heist, okay? Both of those I thought were great. I haven't had a chance to go back to it. I want to go back to it because there's a lot more in that. There's like three more completely different experiences. And there's even more underwater experiences apparently with a plot that progresses. So I do want to do more of that. But at the same time, I also bought this game called Here They Lie. A, a supposedly survival horror style game. And I played the demo of it and people were really intrigued at this thing and want to see more. So I'm considering maybe starting a playthrough of that. So I'm not sure... What I want to do on Wednesday. I might even put it up to a poll between these two. Which do you want to see more? And then I start with one. I go to the other. Or we'll see. Okay. But Wednesday I will do more PlayStation VR. And what I'm hoping is maybe on Wednesday the experience there can add into my impressions video that I'm making for KO Gaming. Alright. Wednesday night I am uh, f going to release this PlayStation VR impressions video for KO Gaming. Alright. I am. I'm going to release that. Thursday... I actually, it's the day that I'm going out with Leanna, and we're doing our errands and stuff, the second half of Thursday. So that means I don't have time to work on anything at night. It's just going to be one stream, and it's up in the air. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. Here's the, where I'm torn, all right? I definitely want to play the multiplayer of Gears of War 4. Now, here's the other thing that I could do Thursday. For those who don't know, this past week, out of nowhere, Blizzard released the big Halloween update for Overwatch. So no matter what, it looks like Thursday will be a multiplayer stream. The question is, what will the stream be? And I may leave it in your hands. I may again may do a Twitter poll <clears throat> where you vote on do you want to see Gears multiplayer or do you want to go with the Overwatch Halloween multiplayer? What do you want to see this Thursday? Okay. Now, this Friday which is October 21st. Battlefield 1 releases for everyone. Wow, not just for people who paid 30 or 40 extra dollars. Everyone gets to play it on Friday. So I'll be playing it on Friday. And here's the cool thing. I've cleared my schedule to make sure that I had the entire day to play it. Okay? So, two streams of Battlefield 1 on a Friday. Now, I'm on the fence. Should I start with multiplayer and do like three hours of multiplayer and then maybe on my second stream start the campaign? Should it be vice versa? I don't know. There may be another thing where I do a poll and you, the viewers, can vote and, and influence my decision on what I'm going to do with that. All right? Um, in addition to that, the weekend, all right, is kind of cleared up. There's no new releases after Battlefield 1 until Tuesday. So that means I'll have the weekend. I'll have Saturday. I'll have two major sessions. Sunday, I only really have time for one, but, but Monday, I have time for two. So there you go. I'll have, like, one uh, between Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Sunday, like, seven sessions to divvy out, whether it's all Battlefield, if I'm really loving it. Because remember, when I played Battlefield 4, I fucking fell in love with it. I played the hell out of it, and people loved watching me play it. So I don't know if it's going to be more of the same or not in that regard, but... It may be, I may play a ton of it. I don't know how long the campaign is, so maybe the campaign will be long and take up a lot of time. I could balance in other stuff, like more WWE, more PlayStation VR, because I still have tons of stuff to cover with PSVR that I know I'm not going to finish anytime soon, okay? Now, there's one thing I want to say. I'm going to tell you about all the stuff I'm doing this week, and boy, a ton of new stuff. Continue, we're going to have stuff finishing. We're going to have things continuing. The, the, uh, the return of my reviews this week and a new game. But before I get to that, there's one thing I want to address. I talked about it on my pre-stream today, and I want to address it publicly right here. I don't know what YouTube has done, but I can confirm now. It's 100% confirmed. Over the summer, YouTube changed some kind of an algorithm, all right? I don't know what the algorithm was, but apparently they have some kind of an algorithm now where views don't count anymore, all right? What that means is 
People are watching my videos. People are enjoying. In fact, I looked at my my stats, you know, on their dashboard or whatever. More people are liking my videos than ever before. It says there's longer viewer engagement, meaning on average, people are watching my videos for longer for the past several weeks than they have in months. People you know, during the summer they would watch one or two videos and they would leave. Now they're watching and they're engaged. Like, wow, I want to keep watching this playthrough. This is fun new stuff that Phil's covering, right? Which is exactly what I expected to happen in October. I said we need to get to the new releases and then people will be excited, and that's exactly what's happened. So I'm getting all this positivity. Viewer engagement up, likes are up, shares are up, and then I look at the views, and the views are like abysmal. Yeah, I'm really sure that covering the PlayStation VR, right? Doing the lives the live stream that I did of launch night that had fifteen hundred viewers. More than I almost ever get. I think in the entirety that I've ever streamed on YouTube, I've gotten that many twice, okay? Including this week. So, you're going to tell me with 1,500 viewers, not even 10,000 views on any of those videos. What? Like, what? No, I'll tell you what happened. People watched them, but they didn't watch the whole video, and I don't think YouTube's counting those views anymore. I think YouTube has some fucking weird-ass algorithm now in place that if you don't sit there and watch the entire video, or at least a certain percentage of the video, that it doesn't count. So that means you could go watch the first half of my video, leave, come back later, watch the second half, and it never counts as a view because you didn't watch 60% in one sitting. I think that's what YouTube has done. Now, I can't confirm or deny this. All I know is YouTube says engagement's up and everything's up, but my views are down. Why the fuck does that make any fucking sense? None. And the bottom line is people are being very positive with me recently. On social media, everyone's interacting with me on Twitter. We're having a lot of fun. And I'm trust me, this is not affecting my playthroughs or the quality of what I'm doing at all. I could care to sh give two shits because the bottom line is this year, my revenue is not based on views. It's based on ad revenue. Just like everyone else on YouTube, it's based on ad revenue. So as long as people are watching the videos and they don't have ad blocker on, basically I'm making a living doing it, all right? So thank you to those who are watching the stuff, who are sharing. I don't want you to be discouraged because people are saying, oh my God, Phil, look at Phil, he's doing new playthroughs and they're not even getting, you know, 10,000 views on a video. I know, and I don't know why. It makes no fucking sense at all. It literally looks like it was sometime in July or August, like they flipped the switch, and all of a sudden my views went, boo, like this. What the fuck? You know, and it's bullshit, because you can look at those playthroughs. Why, why would people not be watching the new stuff? What People have been telling me for months, we're waiting for new stuff. It comes, now they're not going to watch. It doesn't make sense. It's never happened before. It's bullshit. I fully believe YouTube is full of fucking shit. Unfortunately, the problem is... When people see that, oh, there's low views, well, that's it, I'm not going to watch it. That's what people's attitudes are. If they see low views on a video, their attitude is there's no reason to watch that video. And that's what sucks is you you lose that additional view that you might have gotten and it adds up. Trust me, because, hey, when I used to be in the high search results on YouTube, remember before the bullshit last year that screwed over DSP Gaming? I used to be high up in the search results on YouTube, and I would get those views from that. And I would basically get double the viewership, right? Because I'd have people show, I'd be showing up in search and everyone would be watching my stuff. And now I barely show up at all anymore. It's a joke. It's ridiculous. YouTube is fucking a piece of shit. They fucked me over. They really did. Um, but I am happy for what I have. I am happy that I am still making a living doing it. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what's going to happen. We have to see what happens now at the end of October, November, and December. This is the biggest gaming months of the year. I'll be covering nonstop new releases for you guys and gals. I hope. That even though the views are showing is low, that the ad revenue is going to be high, and that I'm going to be able to pay my bills. I guess I'm going to let you guys know by the end of the year, because I'll know probably, after each month, it takes like a week to get the finalized results for that month. And, you know, obviously after December, I'll let you know what's going on. Because this is bullshit, in my opinion. Like, people are, are so actively engaged in my content, more so than I've seen in years. Like, people are so excited for the stuff that's coming out. I'm getting contacted on Twitter and everything. I'm getting emails about it. People are showing... The stream attendance, I gotta say this, stream attendance has been high. Stream attendance for two weeks has been sky high. I've been getting more than the standard stream attendance that I get. Yeah, YouTube says I'm doing worse. How is this possible? It makes no fucking sense. Nothing correlates. You can't have higher engagement, higher likes, higher stream attendance, but video views are down. Makes no fucking sense. So YouTube obviously fucked up. And I'm so tired of those fucking idiots. I really am. I'm, they, they fucked me over a million times over the years with site changes and shit. They just don't stop. They can just fucking leave it as it is. No, keep finding a way to fuck over the little guy, right? I'm so angry. But I'm happy at the same time because people are liking the stuff. So understand, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. This week is going to be a very crazy week. And allow me to now that I vented and I explained to you what's going on, explain to you how I'm covering everything this coming week because it's going to be nuts, all right? And you guys and gals helped make it 
that much of a positive experience. Let's keep that going. Regardless of the fact that YouTube says that my views are bad, fuck that stupid bullshit. It's bullshit. It has to be bullshit. And I don't care anymore. I don't. I'd rather just have fun, keep pushing forward positively, and if we keep spreading the word, right, and keep doing what you're doing, things are going to look up, all right? And of course, with KO Gaming as well, now I'm going to start putting videos out on that again. Hopefully, we'll get more attention, additional attention from that channel and bring it back. Because it's been like dead for a month because there's been nothing to put on there. Now I finally got stuff to put on there. I do, but I'm not hearing really any clamoring or attention for it. In fact, almost no one's asked me to do it. Um, which is a shame because I paid $60 for the game. I played through the campaign. Almost no one really cared about the campaign. And now here we are. No one's really asking for the multiplayer. So maybe Gears of War 4 was a money loss for me. It was just a bust. A 60 bucks, and I'm not even going to make 60 bucks on the videos from it. And that's rare. It's rare when I buy a game and I don't make the money back on it. But I think Gears may be just kind of a game that no one really cares about. And I really hate to say that, but I think Gears was gone for too long. You know what I mean? And I'll be honest, the campaign of Gears of War 4, I liked it. But when I was playing, people were like, eh, it's just more Gears, it's boring. It seems like all the hype for Gears is gone. Like, people don't care about this game anymore, all right? So I would like to maybe do Gears multiplayer this Thursday, but I don't know if there's interest. Last week, a preview of next week, I'll give you a little mini preview. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 comes out on Tuesday, uh, October 25th. October 25th. Yes, I'm playing that. Absolutely. I love Dragon Ball. Hell, recently I've been playing, you know, the new game Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle. All year I've been playing that game on my mobile phone. So I've, I've been watching Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z with Liana. We've been watching the anime. So absolutely, I'm going to be playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 come that day. All right, in that week. Now, also that week, Dark Souls 3's first major DLC. How long is it? How challenging is it? Will it even work? Because I played it on Xbox One, and the version, if you remember, that I got was the advanced version. That was the really the American version. Will I be able to easily just buy the DLC and it'll work? I hope so, but who knows? I definitely want to do it, alright? So that's going to be the last week of October. It's going to be Z Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 balanced with the Dark Souls 2 DLC, or excuse me, the Dark Souls 3 DLC. And then, the last thing that's kind of up in the air, Titanfall 2 releases on Friday, October 28th. Will I be playing it? I don't know. A lot of people have actually contacted me and said, Phil, we hope you do play it because we'd like to see you do the campaign of it. Uh, because it is a brand new campaign. The first game didn't have this. Plus, you did well at the multiplayer during the beta, and we'd like to see you play the multiplayer. But I don't know. Like, I, I really don't know. Because I, between the Dark Souls DLC, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, right? Continuing with WWE... Just those three things, plus the PlayStation VR, you know, I might have more content that I can handle. So I'm not sure, all right? Also keep in mind, the Halloween Marathon is coming on October 31st. So I got a lot on my plate, and so Titanfall is up in the air. I don't know, I would like to do it. If I, if I could clone myself, I would definitely do it. If I could clone myself, if I could clone myself. We have to clone us. Clone us. Oh, really?